All right, so we're going to be back with you on the 64 Blue Sky Comet. I did get some clips ordered up for some of the side anodized aluminums. I can't believe I left those holes right there. Man, I got to fill those. So, yeah, I'll be grinding off the paint, welding it shut, and reshooting the spot of this door. But, you know, that's the cool part about it. Even though I got these spots done, it is base coat, clear coat. So, I can go ahead and put all the stainless down the side and the, the anodized aluminums and door handles. I can just tape all this stuff off and fix the little areas I need to fix, wet sand the whole thing, fix the areas I need to fix, shoot some blue, and re-clear it all. So, got to dig that. Today's goal is going to be knocking out the inside of these doors. So I want to get the tops of these painted blue like the dash along with the strip along the bottom. I got to get the glove box door done. That door done. Got to pull the top two pieces, get those straightened out and those done. So got a lot of work to do. We're going to time lapse up what I can get achieved today. And that's what we're doing. So all right, we'll see you in a few. Got the back panel off one side as you've seen turns out I had to pull the handle off clip was a little rusted didn't want to move but finally got it and had to shoot uh one screw out of the skin in the back and then it pulled off and then three screws out of this and it had two screws through this so it was like five screws six counting the one in the panel but check out the high heels they got this side too there's the dents i was talking about holy cannoli so that's what we're going to be fixing on both rear pieces i've seen that one through some video we recorded before and they like you can just catch it on a glimpse but yeah we're gonna be working these out pretty good and we got that glove box for it And we can clean up the skins real good, get that stainless cleaned up, anodized aluminum, stainless, get all that cleaned up, the handle, clean all that up. So I was going to paint the insides of doors anyway. You can see where they welded some patches again. Someone did some good work on this car. So I'm going to paint all that black. You can see how that door was dented real bad, so... Again, when I body work stuff, I'll try to dolly all that out. Put the door up on the stand. <coughs> so, all right. Going to work on that side. Going to get it ripped apart. Put up some screws. Put up some more of this stuff to clean up. But mainly get on to doing the paint. So, we got some work to do on them. So, we'll be back with you on some time. So as you can see in that little clip, that's the struggles of taking apart an old car. This thing was rusted in there so bad. And it didn't help. I tried putting the tool in from this side. It always goes underneath the handle to unclip these. This deal always goes in under the handle. But anyway, might as well clean up over here and do it. Want to paint some of it see the original sticky or something they put on there to hold the door card I don't like all that but then it didn't have all the screws in it this one was missing the middle one in here was missing and these two outer ones yeah that's not original and this one wasn't even stuck into the car and it stuck through this panel so this thing didn't have to keep this stuff separated. It ain't gonna matter. I did rip up around the top a little bit, so hopefully I can glue and fix some of that. Maybe the corners need to 
be fixed to materials there. So, uh, repair to do to both of these. Because I'm not buying any rear skins. I'm going to try to save the front door ones too. And I haven't even looked at them yet. But I'll just trim off here with this one screw. We'll be back on some more laps. I want to pound out the dents. There we go. That side actually don't look as bad as the other side. But they probably replaced this one because we know they put different screws in it. So, All right. Be back in a minute. We're going to scrape out the insides of the doors, blow them out real good so I can paint the insides of the doors with some flat black on both sides, obviously. Probably paint up some of that black, finish getting that black to the trunk black, all that. I missed this cake panel too before, so i to finish painting that black. So we'll be brush painting some. Again, I got the clips coming I'd like to put the trim on before I drop the glass in here so I also need to get the body work done get the blues painted on the top and the bottom so that's today's sorry about shining into the lights but that's today's goal so we'll be back with you on some more laps of painting or scraping <music> seen in the video no more wondering if they had sandblasted the doors they absolutely sandblasted the doors the amount of sand it just blew out of them was incredible considering i've already had them on a stand and blocked them out somewhat and but i didn't blow them out that's the first time i've been inside the doors so insides look really good now i'm not even sure i'm going to paint them black i'm just going to move right along today without brush painting right yet and knock out these bodywork areas so I'm gonna mask off everything where I want the blue to be with some fine line so we're gonna mask these areas off maybe before we start sanding and doing anything to them and all the rest of the pieces are gonna be not on the car so all right that's what we're gonna do next All right, so as you see on time lapse, beat a lot of that out. Got a couple of dents up towards the top edge. I'm gonna have to fill on these. Believe it or not, I have to put filler in those. <laughs> but it's what it is. Got to get all that nasty black enamel off. You can see where some of the dents popped. In. Yeah, that enamel paint off there. They were blue. But so yeah, those will be getting sanded along with the glove box door. We'll get those after a bit because again, those aren't attached to the car. So we're gonna mask off some of the car here. That light's awfully bright, but you can tell I've been adding lights in here so we can see. Because I'm gonna get more of this car together before we go taking this car anywhere else. So too many pieces laying around. Still got a whole lot of work to do. Gonna mask off these doors. And that's what we'll be back on some time lapse with is putting tape and fine line around where I'm gonna be putting the other blue on here. So that's what we'll be back with.
one side taped off. Basically cut a bunch of pieces of paper, same size, this side same, do the same thing to the other side. Toss some blankets on the front, put a blanket over the dash. I'm not gonna be spraying that much paint. It's gonna be basically just some uh the blue aerosol. I'm gonna primer it first. Obviously get the dents out, primer this, primer that, get the other door ready, get these three pieces ready, prime everything. Gonna be just like the process of doing everything else. First primer, block it out, icing it up probably again, primer it again, hit it with some blue, which was rattle can. I believe it was bright blue is what it was called. Bright light blue. I don't know. I have to look that up exactly what that color is. But it's the uh, dupli color match paint from like advanced auto parts. Stuff's like 15 bucks a can. It's a half size can. So I have two of them. One and a half. I got to shoot both the tops of these doors around the sides, the edges, and along the bottoms. Two back pieces in the glove box. And I'm hoping that the can I got gets me through it. So. This door is a little tight, but we'll work on it, getting it right, get it taped off. So we'll be back with just a little bit more taping. I decided to see me throw blankets. Just stuff this one up on the dash so we don't get no paint on the dash. So, all right, that's what we'll be back with. There's some more time lapse of just taping off a door. All right. got all that enamel off those pieces man that shit was a pain in the ass i want to quit complaining about it because every old car you get they've all been sprayed with black enamel <laughs> so uh this stuff was like eighth inch thick see me switch up to some 80 grit and i've already smeared a bunch of icing all over it i actually went back over the doors with a little bit of icing it's chilled off quite a bit so gonna call the video a wrap for tonight we'll get back on this same video tomorrow try to get it all done in one uh one episode but we're gonna let it dry we're gonna take in the base coat we're gonna take in the clear coat make sure the paint's warm it's supposed to be a decent day tomorrow up in the 60s so really hoping to knock out the blue and the clear on all this stuff for putting the windows like i said back in this car got the clips coming to put the chrome back on it so We'll catch back up with it tomorrow. All right. All right, so we're gonna be back with you on day two, trying to get this interior stuff done. So, gonna rock out, sanding down all the icing, mix up some primer, shoot some primer, 
Probably block it up one more time, see what kind of big dents I missed, and fill them up one more time. I'm gonna leave that black underneath that shit. Man, this shit's so hard to get off. You ain't gonna see none of that. Do the chrome box lid covers almost all of it. But we're gonna paint it up anyway. I'm just not gonna take the black out of there. It's just too hard to get that shit off. I'm not using strippers or nothing, so that's what we're doing. Here he fired his chainsaw next door, so when the time laps up, we're gonna get some sanding done, some priming done. It's alright, that's what we'll be back with. As you can see, I can hit those two more times with icing. So third coach usually the a winner, but I bet these are beyond three. So I guess as long as there's no big dents in it like it was, and I guess if you can surf down these, it won't be that bad. Because I'm not gonna piss around with these much longer. I just want to get this done. So got the doors looking pretty good. I know I haven't been blocking it. So when you use a DA. And you're trying to sand something so it don't wave it back at you what you want to do is use the around the edge of the surface first so you go around the edge of it and you work your way in and you never tilt it like this you got to keep it flat the whole time otherwise a da can make your shit look really like junk you can make it waves that are just phenomenal with the DA if you don't know what you're doing with it. So it's awesome for quick sanding, and that's what I just now do with it. I should have blocked these, but again, I'm just trying to get it done. On here, it looks like we got little inserts that are still in the hole to hold those emblems. You can pull them out. I haven't even found those emblems yet, but I do believe I have them. I got like a wood grain in it. Not sure why this car don't have all the wood grain because like you seen on the dash it don't have the wood grain pieces So there's a chance someone could have took some pieces from this car and replaced them with different ones Those holes over here. I was going over in time lapse. You see me disappear because we were getting that door done, too So I got primer shot on everything I need except for these back two pieces These are still gonna need to be sanded and Honestly, I still feel waves in it. So like this piece is it's gonna really be up but knew that in advance and, and then they won't look as bad as they did and i'm not gonna say they're gonna look perfect either because i'm probably just gonna smooth them out one more time shoot them with primer and there's no eighth inch dents in it we're gonna go with it feels low right there it feels a little high and it goes low again and this whole back corner on both of them is just wow they'll be better than what they were they'll be blue that's the, what we're trying to get done today. Again, those pieces don't have to be put in today. The main thing is, let's just get these doors done. But while I'm going to have clear out and mixing up clear, it'd be nice to knock out these in a the glove box. Which I hung up the glove box door. It's going to be easier to paint while it's hanging there. So, alright, I got a little bit of scan and sanding to do. Going to scotch bright most of the primer stuff. I think the doors look pretty good, so I can scotch break those. We'll probably get ready to go on some aerosol blue. I don't have a cap on this one, but again, it's the same stuff we used on the dash. Perfect match, duple color. Don't say the color on there. It does say GM. Original GM color. Sorry, right, let's scotch break these down, tack them off, and get them blue. We'll be back in a sec.
first coat somewhat heavy kind of dusted on all the way around it and then went back and put it a little bit heavier on both doors so we're gonna let this dry up real good we're gonna hit them again and then we're gonna hit them again so they're gonna get like three good coats and i want to go ahead and knock these out just gonna let these pieces go for right now because again the, the objective was get the doors done so we'll be back with you again shooting another coat should have made this video out to how to use aerosol paint but I gotta be honest I've been building model cars since I was like 11 12 years old so like I don't know call it finaz whatever you want to call it but you gotta shake it constantly it looked like just now in that second time I probably did four coats but the thing is I'm just laying light dusted coats over this it's metallic and we want an even finish we don't want blotch in the metallic this door looks looking pretty good. It's still going to be a third coat. So is that one. They're not perfect, but they look good. So I'm going to have to go grab the other can I got. Because this one's just about spent. And again, when you're doing metallic, make sure you shake it a lot. And you can tell by listening to that. It's an empty can. Let's go ahead and spin the rest of this right where underneath where the door skin goes. But yeah, definitely not tooting on a whistle. It's just I've been playing with these aerosol paints for a long time. So we'll grab the other can. We'll get third, three coats down. Be able to mix up some clear and at least knock these doors out. All right, so we'll be back with you. All right, before we knock out this third coat, we zoom in. So yeah, whatever that says, that's what we're using for interior color. So I'm about to crack open another can, knock out third coat, and we can mix up some clear. Alright, All right, so as you see, I got the third coat down on the doors. I might even dust a fourth coat on there. It looks like I don't know there's a couple light spots. I'm in dark area with just lighting, so I'm gonna make sure we got it good. Didn't get those. Did dust the first coat onto that glove box door. So hopefully we can get three coats on that and knock that out along with the doors today. And for the back pieces, I'll probably need to grab another can. Cause it's been blowing right through this paint. It's looking pretty good, but no clear on it yet. Again, I'll probably dust another coat on this one too. So make sure we get it dark enough. Matches the dash. I know the dash got a whole can spin on it, which was like four coats. So the same with the doors here. So we'll be back with one more coat of blue. Then we'll mix up some clear. And knock it out. All right, back in a sec. All right, so I got the first coat of clear down, and it was a catastrophe. I forgot last time I was painting my paint gun, we dripped paint all over everything. I gotta get a new cup for the paint gun. The lid's not going down all the way, so just dripping off the front like crazy as I'm spraying. I do have enough in here. See the level in there to shoot one more coat. So it's gonna be one more heavy coat onto the doors. I did hit this with one coat of clear, so we're going to hit that with another coat of clear if there's any left after knocking out the two doors. And of course, I'm going to have to come back do those. Probably need another can of that, which is really depressing because that puts me up like 60 bucks for this interior paint, which was way overpriced. But it is what it is. I'm happy with the color. It matches the door skin somewhat. And the seats and the carpet that I'm going to be going with, so... Onto another coat of clear so I can get this done. So we'll be back in one minute. We'll fog up the garage one more time and see if I run it. All right. 
right, there's what we got. Nice and shiny, no runs. I don't see no real bad body work nest areas yet either, so we gotta dig that. Just enough clear, didn't get those done. Did get a second coat on that glove box door. This door done too, but I was mentioning paint cup on my paint gun. I need to replace, but it might just be time to replace the old paint gun. Not that you don't still spray, but turn it into a primer gun use just primer through it and buy me another one for when I'm doing colors so it don't take me so long to clean out the gun and whatnot but so I don't have any more primer mixed up right now there you actually, actually do I'm just gonna get a paint gun this is gonna go strictly to a primer gun it leaks at the bottom so I need to tap on that bottom fitting Probably needs a new filter. You know, my mask needs new filters. So I probably should just buy a new one of those too. But thanks for tuning in. I hope you dig it. I'm digging it. I'll be able to start uh, assembling the doors and the dash. So I'll probably unmask some of this right now so I don't have any issues when it comes to pulling off the tape and pulling blue off. But yeah, I gotta put window mechanisms in. All the tracks, the wing windows, figure out what trim I got, what kind of door cards I got. Hopefully the clips come tomorrow for the outside trim. And so I guess it's not pieced out yet. We're going to come back and show one more shot with all the tape off of it. So yeah, you always want to peel that off in advance because sometimes if you don't, It'll dry in the tape, you peel the tape off, it'll rip out your paint. So you always want to take it off when it's wet, when you're shooting clear like that. Then I clean that dash back up. Obviously, it's got a bunch of stuff laying all over it. I did notice I run it in one spot there. I got to get a run out of it, but it'll wet sand out. And that's when I did the dash. So far in these doors, I don't see any runs, which is good news. I appreciate all the subs, man, and then the rounding them ups. I see there was a question about one with no title. The narrator mentions no title. I live in Ohio, so I don't know how it is or what you got to do to try to get a title for a car out of Ohio. But I know how it works in Ohio. You'll be issued a salvage title, and that's if you can get a salvage yard to hold on to it long enough to claim one and actually go through the process for you. But even with a salvage title... You still got to have it all rebuilt to where everything's legit and take it to state patrol for an inspection. So then it's issued as a brand new title. So your car is not even titled to the original year of that classic car that you replace the title on. So that's how it works in Ohio. But I don't know how it works everywhere else. So we're going to add that in there. But if you're looking for something, drop it in the comments and we'll round them up for you. Thanks a lot, everybody. I appreciate it. Again, all the subs, can't believe it. So until we come back with some dash work, some assembly on the doors and windows, that's where we'll be at next. Thanks a lot, everybody. Peace out.